For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. We're used to seeing Bruce Willis fight with his fists. Well, now he's trying to take a bite out of Apple. The actor is reportedly considering taking legal action against Apple over his iTunes collection. The Daily Mail reports Willis wants to pass his digital music collection on to his daughters when he dies. But he, and that means you too, doesn't really own those songs. Lawyer Chris Walton explains, Lots of people will be surprised on learning all those tracks and books they have bought over the years don't actually belong to them. It's only natural you would want to pass them on to a loved one. Currently, when you throw down your $1.29, you're not really buying the song. Instead, you're buying a license to use it indefinitely. That means you don't hold it like you can hold a CD. Sure, Apple gives you and Bruce the chance to register your account on up to five devices, but it's still your account. And as the UK's The Sun says, any music library amassed like that would be worthless when the owner dies. In the meantime, Willis is looking into setting up family trust to act as legal holders of his iTunes collection. But if he follows through on taking legal action, it might mean changes for all of us and possibly other companies. iTunes isn't alone. Amazon, for example, licenses your Kindle book purchases. Apple hasn't commented yet, but it certainly had its share of lawsuits this year. And since the recent Samsung ruling went Apple's way, Willis's team better bring the Ray game. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris.